You talk me into this, and now I'm going to end up looking like an idiot. Mum, you look great. Don't worry. Where's Grob and Meba? And I trust them. Relax, Mum. Nothing will go wrong, I promise. Stand by! Ten seconds! Hi, Sue. Looking good. You're on straight after Grob and Meba's cookery segment. Come on! Hi, kids. And welcome back to Kids. Breakfast. And now here's Grob and Meba teach you how to make an alien breakfast cake. Huh. Sorry, Nancy. Grob's not here with the ingredients yet. He's so unreliable. Urgles always are. He's never on time. Well, I guess now would be a good time. Yes, a good time to tell you about next week's exciting show where we'll be entertained by the fabulous Philip Bailey dance experience. To be a good security guard means being constantly alert. Yes, Uncle Hugo. Don't call me Uncle and don't call me Hugo. Call me Commander Pratt. Right, now, lesson one. See anything out of place? Yes, Commander Not Pratt! Not over there, over there. Well, it's just a piece of paper. Just a piece of Look paper. At... That's litter. Pick it up. Yeah, but I... Now! <laughs> Main station's a secure station. Hang on, where was I? Ah, yes, lesson number one. Spotting suspicious activity. After years of experience as a security guard, you develop a kind of sixth sense for... Whew. What's that stink? It's that! Stop, stop! Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, forget the litter! Catch the idiot in the rubber suit, you idiot! Yes, Uncle Hugo! Commander Pratt, get it right! We stop it? I will not have my son making an idiot of himself on national television. Uh, don't seem to mind every other week. Uh, well, uh, th thanks, uh, thanks a lot. You'll have to go on now. for that display of, of, of grace and balance. And now we've got some fitness hints for all you tech heads out there. The famous Sue Green, otherwise known as my mum. Hi, if you're anything like Rodney, you probably spend half your life sitting in front of a computer screen, surfing the web and hacking at that net. But a, a growing human body wasn't designed to spend no more hours dancing. Come on, Mum. So no, every no, hour, no, no, take no. a break no. with some cyber sizes. Hit it, Rodney. So let's get all floppy with some stretches. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. And three, and four, and one, and two, and three, oh. and four. Oh. 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 That stink! Stuff for cake! Grob, you can't teach kids how to cook with stuff in a rubbish bin. Why not? Look at all the good stuff humans throw away! Oh, dick banana! Good, good. Oh, it's empty! Chocolate! Uh. Oh. No, Grob, you can't have the chocolate. It's a fast food, remember? You can't control it. Oh, you bear! Lucy just wants a stinky chocolate. There he is. There he is. And one, and two, and three, and four, and stretch. And one, and two. And one, and two. Oh, Uncle Hugo! And two, Uncle Hugo! And, three, and four. Get first aid kit. And two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. I really need and to make one, cake. And two. Oh, Why are you? I need you fast. Fast! You need me fast!
Robin Meaver. They've been embarrassed on national television. Mum, it was an accident. It is always an accident with those two and I have had enough. I'm sick of their silly costumes and their, and their stupid voices. Those two are not to come to the house again and you two are forbidden to see them again. What? But Mum! No, but Mums, I have had enough. They made a laughing stuff with me. No one laughed, Mum. Oh, there you are. Well done, Sue. Hilarious. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you were serious with all that boring exercise stuff. <laughs> Mum, what if Grim Meaver apologised? <laughs> Maybe. If just for once they said they were sorry face to face. Good, I'll go get them. I mean the real them, Rodney. The actors inside the costumes. But they can't be seen without their costumes. It's in their contract. I don't care. That is my condition. Either they, either they, they apologise in person so that I can see it in their eyes that they really mean it, or, or you two are, are not to see them ever again. It's incredible. He just turned into a whirlwind. Nothing human could have done anything like that. What do you mean? Grob and Meba, they really are aliens. Aliens? There's been a lot of funny things happening since they arrived. Now I know why. Uncle Hugo, I think you hit your head pretty hard when you fell over. I know what I saw. Now I just need to get some proof. Whenever you're ready, Philip. Huh? Okay, just give me a second. Do humans have to humiliate themselves when they dance? Okay, I think I've got it now. <laughs> um, maybe we have to talk. Okay, final rehearsal. You made it too complicated. How is anyone supposed to learn these steps? Well, I suppose we could make it a bit simpler. Any simpler, we'd be standing still. Not see you anymore, but we'll be all alone. Oh no! Grob, wake up! Where? 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 Philip dancing? Why Philip and Grob want to dance? Grob, Grob is this is an emergency! Where? Out of my way, you lot! <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Mum, what are you doing? I'm pulling the plug. You can't be brilliant at everything, Philip. Well, Mum, I just need one more rehearsal. Philip will find something else for you to do. But I don't want to do anything else. And you two can go. You won't be needed anymore. But what about our money? Uh, we were promised lunch. Eh. And those costumes look ridiculous. Philip, come on. But we can't apologise face to face. Rob only got one face. Well, maybe we could hire you another one. Excuse me. How would you two like another job? Is there lunch? Hmm. Get the blinds. No. Shh! I didn't do it. Quiet. Photographs. Nothing to show the human. Or aliens. <laughs> Mom? Hide! Mom, are you here? Mom? Mom? Why are you hiding in the dark? I'll get the light. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I've got a headache. Uh, uh, a sore throat? Oh, okay. I'll make this quick. I really want to dance, Mum. I mean, I'm sure I can get it right by next week. Please, can I do the dance, Mum? Please, 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 please. Okay. Unreal. Thanks, Mum. Stay away. Germs. Germs. Oh, always thinking of me, Mum. <laughs> you are the best. Oh. Oh, and you'll rehire the dancers and organise everything? Oh, sure thing. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Time 
for phase two. Finding physical evidence. What exactly are we looking for, Uncle? I mean, Commander? We won't know until we find it. Hmm. Tweezers. Tweezers? What do you think that is? A worm? It's an alien here. Big. Perfect. We'll send it off to analysis. What? We want you to make copies of Grob Amoeba. Copies? Isn't one grub enough? Can you imagine a space bus full of grubs? <laughs> That's why cloning is illegal on all civilized planets. We're not talking about cloning. We're just talking about costumes that look like them. By tomorrow. Can you do it? What do you expect me to do? Knit one? Knit one, pearl one, knit two, pearl two. Uh, is there no end to this humiliation? Uh-oh. I think I dropped a stitch. Thank you, Dr. Yamaha. I knew it. That grob here doesn't match any animal known on Earth. Therefore, he must be an alien. Or an actor in a costume with fake hair. Yes. Well, of course, I thought of that. That's why we need to proceed to phase three. <sighs> Another phase. Capture the aliens and interrogate them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> when did you get here? Huh? Oh, good to uh. see you. Uh. Grub, what are you doing? This my cousin, Nub. See family resemblance? Yes, two dummies. <laughs> Say hi to Queagle, Nub. It can't talk, Grob. Queagle made it. No. <laughs> this is Nub. He's my cousin. <laughs> He's just a bit quiet. He's shy. Grob, it's a costume. You idiot. Queagle made one of me, too. Me, no. Well, then, come on. We have to take them to the actors. They're waiting in the green room. OK. You come too, Nub. Come on. Come on. Nub! How do they fit? A bit tight. A bit heavy. I don't know how you two manage to wear them all the time. We've had lots of practice. Yes. <laughs> now, where's the real grob? I'd like to research my character. All you have to do is be yourselves. But what will we say if your mum and dad ask us anything? We'll make it up and say nice things about us. Rodney. Just say you're sorry about the cake and all the trouble you've caused in the past, and then leave. Rodney, hurry up. They're expecting us. We'll meet you there. What? Don't we get lunch first? Canteen's closed. Sorry. Grob, is there anyone outside? No! <coughs> There's no one out there. There's... No! Oh, <laughs> Good to see you. You're awake. Meva! You didn't tell me your sister was in town? Hello! Hello there! How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Stage three commencing, George. If I don't come back, tell the authorities there's an alien conspiracy. Yes, sir! Place? No! Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Idiot. No costumes and what happened to them anyway? Uh, budget cuts. <laughs> Mum, Dad, we'd like you to meet the real Grob and Mabel, Jeffrey and Rebecca. Today, dear lady, 
After all our troubles and travails, we meet. Face to face, eye to eye. He means we're terribly sorry for all the trouble we've caused you over the years. Months. <laughs> Months. Yes. Of course. And I am especially sorry about the pancake. The breakfast cake. Yes, the breakfast cake. It was a dreadful, dreadful accident, and I beg your forgiveness. We're tremendously sorry. Abjectly sorry. For all the things we've ever done. Never have two people been more hungry. But sorry, sorry. All right, I forgive you. Would you like to stay for afternoon tea? No, I've got to go. Nonsense. We haven't even had lunch yet. The canteen was closed. Remember? Okay, come on, let's go. Lovely place you have here. Uh, will there be cake? So, what else would we have seen you in? Oh, nothing that you'd remember. Ah, oh, Rebecca's only just starting out. I've done a few things musical theatre, Shakespeare, of course. I've written my own play. Yes, it won an award. Really? Well, you seem so young. Anything on television? I was. Best actress in a mini-series. <laughs> well, I've had an offer from Hollywood. Movies? Which one? Oh, well, I couldn't accept, of course. Because... Of our child. She can't travel. You have a child. How old? Uh, seven. Five-ish. Se seven and, and five. Uh, the, the older one is seven, uh, but, but the five-year-old... Our uh, little Emma. Yes, little Emma. Dear. Dear little soul, well, well, you see, she needs an operation. Oh, what sort of operation? Heart. I... The heart and I, both. <laughs> We're saving every penny in the hope that one day our little girl will be able to run and play with the other children. And to see them. Oh, that's awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, we just take it one day at a time. <laughs> That's so sad. Yes, well, chin up and all that. Oh, making it off, you dope. <laughs> That's so sad. Shut up. It was lovely to finally meet you both. Now, now remember, Mum, you can't tell anyone you saw Rebecca or Jeffrey outside of their costumes. Or mention their real names. Your secret is safe with us. And I hope everything works out with little Emma. Who? Oh, uh, Emma, yes. Thank you. You're very kind. You drop in any time. Well, time to beam back to our ship. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell, humanoids. Oh, stop it. <sighs> well, that went well. Yes. Lunch was excellent. Mm. Rob, Meba, want a lift? Oh, Lucy and Rodney must have organised it. Superb. Lunch and transport. You know, those kids certainly know how to treat an actor. Thank you. Lovely. Very decent of you, old man. Oh, oh, steady, steady. Oh. Crowded. Might squash you. I got you. <laughs> Thought no one knew your little secret, didn't you? Why have you come to Earth? Are you planning an invasion? Or... Are you alien criminals on the run? You're crazy! Please don't hurt us. But you're not aliens. No! We're actors! Now let us out of here immediately! But this means... Oh, no. I've kidnapped the stars off the show. Oh, please. <laughs> don't come die, Mr. Howard. I've got a family of cacti to support. Run for it! <laughs> Wait! <gasps> Let me explain! I didn't mean any harm! It was a joke! But how would Nob know how to get back to the space bus? <laughs> Grub, it's not Nob. It's a costume with an actor inside. Oh, you mean like us? <laughs> Where's Uncle Hugo? What have you done with him? No, George. They're not aliens. They're actors. Oh, I apologise for my idiot nephew. And I'm really sorry about our little misunderstanding before. What misunderstanding? Couldn't have put it better myself. Thank you so much. And look. I've had your other costumes dry cleaned. No! What have you done to Nub? No! 
Ah, your sexy's in its out! Thank you, Mr. Pratt. Have any of you morons seen my dances? I thought your dance had been cancelled. Well, I guess you don't know everything, do you? Nancy! He must still think Jeffrey and Rebecca are coming. Aren't they? No, their agent called and said they'd been kidnapped by some madman at the station. They said they'd never come near this place again. Oh! So, Philly got no dancers! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> move. And copy and move. Copy and move and delete. Oh! Woo! Well! Well, well we, uh, we thank you, Sir Green. And we hope to see you back here in the future <laughs> when I recover. And now, kids, we hope you aren't getting too excited at home. Because cause we got Philip Bailey. Dad! Period! Ah! Oh, my, my dancers haven't turned up yet. They're behind the curtain, Philip. Ready to go. Oh. The dots. Philip told me it was back in. Out of the way. He said you okayed it. Dance with me, Philip. Oh, that, that's not how it goes. Get, get off. Ow. Hey, Beaver! Side boy! <laughs> You're probably you too. Those two deserve an acting award. Once they put those costumes on, it's like they're from another planet. <laughs> Come on, Philip! 